What is going on guys? So in today's video, I wanna go ahead and show you guys the ultimate or our ultimate family vehicle, the minivan, right? This is the 25th anniversary uh, Toyota Sienna. So I just wanna go ahead and do like a walk around finally after one year, what is, uh, what's so far, what's going on with this minivan, right? So if you guys wanna stay tuned, stick with me and let's go ahead. All right guys, so here you go. Let's start off again, again, right? Uh, 25th anniversary wind chill pearl color. We have the hybrid logo right there. This is from the aftermarket AliExpress version or eBay version, I forgot where I got it from. But again, this is the uh, all wheel drive version with the seven passenger uh, captain's chairs. So we have the 18 inch um, chrome wheels. These are fake chrome wheel hubcaps. I'm not going to go into full detail with these, right? Um, again, watch my previous video about the whole 25th anniversary and the differences. But I just want to mention after a year of driving, the good thing about these chrome wheels is that it stays pretty clean. It's very easy to wash off. Uh, it, it shines uh, no matter how much brake dust there is. So, I mean, that's a good part. But other than that, I'm not really a huge fan. Uh, moving on, we have these emblems right here. I mean, not the emblems, the rear vinyl, our vinyl, gloss black vinyl that I, I went ahead and you can see a, a lot of micro, micro scratches right here. But other than that, during like a, a nice cloudy day or just like a regular ordinary day without sun shining at it, it looks pretty good. I like it uh, versus the matte black B pillars, right? Moving back, I just did this recently during the winter. This is an Aventura logo el um, emblem from the RAV4s, right? Again, um, the whole point of this is to kind of signify that this minivan right here, the Sienna, is our adventure vehicle with the family. So I definitely think it's a nice touch, especially where the TRD, you know, the uh, the uh, off TRD off-road RAV4s or the 4Runners, they have like, um, from factory, straight from factory, they have this right here. So that's where I got the idea from. Uh, OEM, again, uh, I'll link everything in the, um, the description for the product, uh, product number or just watch a previous video, right? So far, this uh, wind chill pearl definitely glistens in front of the sun. I definitely want to find this particular time um, to show you guys the whole paint itself and how it holds up within a year, right? And we have this piece right here. This is again an aftermarket piece with these like fake fins or diffusers or uh, vortex generators on the side, right? Um, this is a stick on piece as well. So far it's holding up pretty well. Uh, minimal micro scratches because I don't think it gets much contact within during um, uh, like um, driving. And most recently I did this right here. Now this is kind of aggressive. Maybe it might be too much for the Siennas or just like any, like any parent. But I mean, I have no more Golf R, so I just kind of want to stick with the whole XSE sporty trim. Okay, so these aren't holding up that well. Right, you can see a little bit of fading right here. Um, but then again, I kind of neglected washing the car the whole year it's because we have the ceramic coating right here. Um, but this one reminds me kind of like a more sporty style mirror. But this one's very easy to install, very nice. Uh, good fitment, right? Ha uh, keeps uh, the LED turn signals functional. And then from here, let's see. Um, let's see. I have right here in the back. I have the Sienna reflector right here, just in case we're parked out at night and the incoming vehicles don't see us. This is from factory, the red dot. And this is from, um, I think, um, AliExpress again or eBay so forth i have again this one right here same thing all right 
and I like it because it's white, comes in white and yellow. White keeps it kind of like um, um, discreet. And then from here, um, moving to the back, I have like kind of like a, what I did was I kind of did, uh, I bought reflective tape and that at night this reflects too. So when we're in traffic or whatnot, uh, when um, um, headlights shine at this, it's gonna reflect. Same with this one, this is bright yellow, like fluorescent yellow so we definitely get attention from the drivers in back of us to you know just keep keep a keep a heads up and right here one of my favorite ones uh, very nice very ironic but I will never drive a minivan uh, this is for all everyone else who you know who didn't expect to drive a minivan but the minivan changed their lives of course I think it's very nice and moving down we have the dark chrome chromed out exhaust tip so you, as you all know the Sienna doesn't have uh, dual exhaust or whatnot it just has a one tail pipe going out but it's also hidden it's pointed downwards so this one right here is just kind of like um, um, a screw-on piece right the moment I got this car uh, it stayed in the parking lot the whole night and then the very next morning early early morning I took it to the uh, detail shop and had it ceramic coated. They actually took off some of the um, the protective films on it as well. So since day one, it's been ceram ceramic coated. Um, and overall, I like it. I think that's a must do for the whole car. So right now I just take it to the gas station and I power wash it. And then from there, I just apply a layer of PNS speed maker. Walking back further, I have the whole car tinted. Um, the main reason was to keep the girls cool inside the car, inside the vehicle. And also, I guess, it, for looks, yeah, it's a white on black again. 35% um, all around. The factory had, um, um, there's factory tint on the back, so it made it even darker, probably like 20%, 15%, and that's 35% right there in the front. All right. And overall, I also had the windshield tinted. The windshield tint, I would, I would say if I had to do it over again, I probably wouldn't. Um, the only time that it's nice is the fact that when I'm driving, it's less glare when I'm driving. So I like that. That on top of my, um, uh, my uh, transition glasses, it really does help when driving, right? But in the meantime though, it's only 70%, so heat does come in, even though it's all ceramic tint. But this is how it looks from the inside in terms of the tint. Uh, windows are cracked open just a little bit. And we have the uh, wind deflectors right there, or the rain guards, and 35% is like that. Right, overall the interior again is black, very dark. But the other exterior accessory that I have right here is the inner wedge 660 which I love uh, it's not the most in terms of capacity right but it's nice and sleek and in a pinch situations where you have to kind of put like diaper bags or just like small stuff that you didn't expect um, definitely it helps so it creates a little bit more room let's say for instance I was helping my sister move and the whole car was packed with stuff and we thought we had to make a second trip but we took all her clothing and we placed it right up there and it creates some space, the shoes and everything. So that was, that was pretty good. Uh, I also have the uh, spare tire placed right above there. So that creates some space in the rear, uh, the trunk. So when we're going long trips, we haul up the spare tire and we put it right there and that's a good space to put it. Um, in terms of uh, EP, um, miles per gallon and how much it affects the car, um, it pr I think it really does affect the car because my my miles per gallon or um, it I would say it went from 40s uh, like 40 39 38 to even like 34 33 but then again the winter started too so the winter definitely affects the battery and the hybrids of course so I can't really um, tell if this is the, the main culprit but moving on, uh, let's talk, talk about the interior right now, right? So I did go ahead and do a walk. All right, so let us talk about the interior convenience and all the aftermarket stuff that I bought for it. Uh, most importantly, let's start off with the, like the Easy Cargo, right? The Easy Cargo right here, or E-Carzo, I'm sorry. First off, we start with the infotainment center tray right here. 
I think this is one of the best ones. The OEM fit, it just kind of slip fits over the infotainment. I think the infotainment, even though it's grainy, the backup camera is grainy, it, it works perfect for us. I, I don't have regrets doing that. I mean, uh, not waiting, because even the 2024s don't have an upgrade with this one, and I don't, I'm not sure about the 25s, right? But uh, what do we put here? Just kind of like um, easy pass, like extra masks and whatnot, right? So this is a very nice fitment. I like it. Um, next we have the screen protector right here. It's an 8 inch. We got this custom. It's for like an Amazon Kindle or Amazon Fire. I just slapped it on. Uh, Anti-glare matte. Less fingerprints than normal. All right. I still have this like uh, protective film over it, over the protective film. So even then, you know, I could go ahead and easily rip it off. But anyone who knows me, I'm not going to rip anything off. At least not by myself, right? Um, and also, let's see, these easy cargo console tray. All right, so the girls, it's, it's almost Chinese New Year. So we, we have some, we have some nice, you know, isn't it great to be a dad? You know, like just anyway. So here it is. This is the Easy Carzo dash tray right here, and we have like some random stuff, right? That's the. Uh, I mean, it's nice. Right under it is more storage. It's really deep pocket. So uh, this kind of separates everything. You know, uh, compartmentalize everything for you. Um, and we have m multiple charging ports, so that's a that's a key factor for this minivan. So many cup holders, so many charging ports that everyone gets to charge their devices. And this is the what was it? The Easy EMZ Center Console, EMC LLZ. So this right here, very nice, very comfortable. It prevents this from opening by accident and having something disappear under here, especially your phone. Right, that's a main drawback of the Sienna, right? So this prevents me from accidentally opening it. But at the same time, though, I hardly use the center console like that. So this gives me a nice, comfortable placement for my arms. And next on the list, we have the Easy Cargo Center Console Tray. So this part right here is usually empty, right? Like a nice bridge. This is the Toyota bridge that everyone, that the uh, Toyota is touting for the uh, fourth generation Sienna, the XL40s. Um, but right here, I think this is a must have. Um, this center console tray right here. It really does go ahead and help you um, just tidy everything up. This is what we place on it. And for the first time, we have tissues in the car because back then in like the Golf R, we don't need tissues, right? Now with the girls, you definitely do. So it keeps this in place, everything's in place, everything's nice and tidy. All the things don't get scattered around, so very nice. Good fitment again. Everything with the Easy Carzo is great, really great fitment. So uh, again, I'll link everything. Okay, so right here, we have a custom fit um, Sienna 3D printed um, uh, phone holder case. So I combine that with a Lyson MagSafe charger. And this is great. I like it so much. I think it's a perfect line of sight. So let's say I have my phone right here. This is the um, MagSafe capable phone. So it just sticks on like that. And then it just charges if I want to charge it. If I don't want to charge it, if I, I think, you know, the bat I don't want to, you know, um, lessen the battery lifespan, I could just take this off like that. And then it won't charge. If I want Apple CarPlay, then I could just push it up like that and then still use my phone right so that's a that's dope right there I like it um, let's see custom console and dashboard protective film oh yeah so I have this right here definitely I don't think you guys could see it but you see kind of like an orange peely type effect that's with the like um, 3m like clear bra material invisible shield or PPF on top of the glass black trim that you see um, in the um, in the XSEs or whatnot. So right here, you can also see. Oh, you can't see. It's kind of visible, but I, I protect this portion right here, and also the center uh, tachometer, the dash. Right. So I have that just to go ahead and prevent any type of micro um, scratches inside. This is the wireless button that I have right here. 
is basically to mimic kind of like a Kia, this aftermarket, of course, again. So this is very nice because when mommy's in the back and she's dealing with the kids and she needs a little bit more space, I could go ahead and just wirelessly uh, push the seat forward so that she doesn't have to go around and push the seat. This is reminiscent of our luxury feature from the Volvo where you could kind of do it from the actual screen, the infotainment screen itself. But for the Sienna, you have to go ahead and plug everything on the seat and it kind of mimics the same function. And I think that's also um, a really nice convenience feature. All right, so next we have the leather wrapped steering wheel for the, um, for the Sienna. And for the Sienna, the leather wrapped steering wheel from, from factory is not the best. I think this makes it even feel really even better. It makes it feel thicker same design perforations on the side and a smoother leather on the bottom and top and it's a nice thickness to it and uh, i wrapped it over so now i think it looks pretty oem i don't think anyone could tell and also you have a better feeling steering wheel as well so that's another thing it's a lot uh, it's a little bit more tedious but i mean i would recommend it if you have the time if not then you could just you know drive it as is um leather seat covers to match the EMZ uh, center armrest right here. The 25th anniversary is equipped with uh, ventilated seats. So during the summer, we take this off, but for the most part, we keep this on to kind of keep uh, everything from falling into the perforations here and kind of keep everything nice and clean, immaculate and so forth. Um, and we have, let's see, next we have the 25th anniversary OEM emblem that we stuck to the center. Now I spoke about how if you make a 25 out of one, a 25, 25 max limit, I would maybe suggest, or you know, it'll be really kind of like a no brainer, right? To kind of number your vehicles. But since it's only a Sienna, it's only a minivan, you know, it's only celebrating 25 years. Um, they didn't have anything. So I went ahead and I just stuck it on myself this is you can find this in the back of a of a 25th anniversary but i bought a couple of them and i stuck it here okay, so um right here you might laugh definitely but i think it really goes with the flow uh it's kind of like a stick on piece right uh double-sided tape and uh, you i kind of stuck it along because um i think there's so many white stitching right or gray stitching along here along here right that i went ahead and i stuck kind of like an aftermarket uh, <laughs> trim or you know stitching on the side doors only the front passenger and the front driver uh, I could go ahead and zoom in over here and you can kind of see it from further away it does look oh yeah it does look like I'm not sure if you guys can tell right um, and then moving to the rear we have a Sienna back plating for the seats right there right this one I think it's pretty good material it just sticks on to the velcro it has velcro so it sticks on to the fabric and the side so it makes a nice clean look doesn't stand out too much it's like kind of like piano black wood grain i think so overall i think that's pretty nice last but not least we have the sienna uh stainless steel pedals that um basically just goes over the throttle the gas and this portion right here the brake replaces the actual oem brake uh pad uh, brake um pedal right you can see that it's fake it's a uh, plastic with a uh, with kind of like a, a stainless steel mimic and you can see the sienna is fading out but overall i mean um it's uh it's okay i mean i wanted to keep it kind of like a sporty type of feel with the xse um and there you go would i recommend it, mm, it i mean it doesn't the brake the brake pedal was a uh, was really difficult to install so i i wouldn't do it again right uh maybe the throttle because that's easy but you guys decide and i think the the lighting portion of it i'll talk about later right maybe at night right but we have amazon everything's from amazon uh footwell lighting right here we have the um lighting the um fiber optic lighting right along here to illuminate at night so I think um, I'll do another separate video at night for the lighting part because you can't really see it during the day. Uh, we have the pine tree uh, LED lighting kit all around. 
except for this portion right here because the LED is soldered into the um, the circuit boards right here but in terms of like the lighting that you see here it's all LED converted so inside gets really bright at night like uh, bright energized type of feel inside and we have this right here that matches the kind of like the cyan blue theme um, you could you know it's, it replaces like the OEM handle cover and on top of that what else can I talk about oh um, at night I have this piece it's an Amazon it's from Amazon it's kind of like those motion sensor light bars I just stuck it there and at night it senses the motion and from there um, it kind of illuminates the door at the entryway so you can see where you're going uh, if the LED lights are on there is not bright enough this is just the an extra um, it's a measure I'm taking right there all right so next if you guys are still with me we have like weather and comfort we have the 3w all season mats right here uh, versus the OEM Toyota ones and so far it's been holding up pretty well you can see uh, it's keeping it pretty clean right I especially like it for the rear especially since the girls are all trotting over here so basically what happens is I am able to vacuum very easily and salt and everything just washes or wipes off keeps everything water it's waterproof so it keeps everything kind of at bay when there's moisture versus carpet when you can you kind of mold up and, um, and and smell in the long term so those are pretty good investment right I don't think it could go wrong but 3w is a very good fitment um, we have like side window wind deflectors or the rain guards I do here um, I like these because they kind of keep the chrome trim because I see a lot of these is very common but you keep the chrome trim unless you want to black it out of course but you keep the chrome trim as a pattern and extend so it's not blacked out here right and all of a sudden once you reach it to the back you know you see chrome and it's blacked out here so I think it's a nice really um, evenly flowing fluid design and also it keeps you know cool air coming in or if you want to open the windows during as it has all sorts of purposes like you know so summertime if it's way too hot you go ahead and crack these as well when you're leaving the car so it doesn't get as hot right especially this and the tint combo uh, keeps this co the car very very cool and we have kind of like a sunshades here so that's even you know that's so many on top uh, so many <laughs> uh, cooling uh, solutions for this for this uh, minivan right here and um, we have like just random stuff we have like a windshield I'm not sure if it really makes a difference but right here we have like a windshield um, insulation or like a strip right there that prevents um, or kind of I don't know it's supposed to be more acoustic keeps your uh, keeps it more silent in the, for the interior so, like same with this piece right here it's like stick on piece aftermarket I stuck it on to kind of keep uh, wind from going in keeps it more silent I have this right here that I did with the Golf R I just purchased it again um, this is OEM weather stripping and right on top I ran it all the way on the bottom all the way right here and continued all the way on the bottom to keep it a little bit more silent for the girls uh, same with here I did it right here I did it right along here right and all the way on the, along the bottom um, same with all four sides I did that and overall it doesn't make a difference I think it does improve the noise just a little bit but it's not gonna go totally insulate sound without having some sort of sound insulation within the door so but it does keep the wind noise down right it definitely does keep the wind noise down um, but in terms of like other uh, like the whole overall in cabin ambiance uh, you still hear uh, noises outside especially with the engine droning we'll get to that maybe in another video um, the tires are okay because they're the thick sidewall so uh, not much tire noise from here but overall uh, it's just kind of like a not much sound insulation so you do hear the roads a little bit more than of course like the Volvo right and also the 
the class is an acoustic isn't like double pane glass I don't even think the windshield is versus the Volvo so it's a little bit more a lot more quiet in the Volvos or luxury cars of course let's say a Lexus as well um, and again let's see what do we have we have uh, magnetic sunshades um, that you see I'm not sure if you can see it but we have it here I, I think I, I made a video about this or maybe I didn't but this keeps the Sun from shining at the girls and on top of that this is from factory but this is complete coverage I want to go ahead and see if I could shut the door to give you guys a look so right there this is from Aliexpress again and that's complete coverage and what we like about that is it also keeps the mosquitoes at bay whenever we are parked uh, during the summer and this one really does help as well it's it's nice it's magnet uh, magnetic so it's a nice custom fit i have it for the front we have it for the uh, middle sliding doors and also from the rear as you can see from here not sure if you can see and that is about it for comfort and maintenance we have this right here from amazon these are like a charcoal filter bags that we keep around i try to put it around so it keeps the smell at bay um, keeps it fresh nice and smell fresh smelling so you know in the future the girls don't you know get car sick or whatnot because growing up you have that smelly car that kind of contributes to motion sickness as well all right now electronics wise let's talk about this we have the Pormito dash camera one of my favorites right here why because we have a rear entertainment system so this is kind of like a dash camera built in with the digital rear view camera so um, i have it hardwired and everything like that so let's say when this thing is down like that right you definitely cannot see all right you can you cannot see or well, let's see if i could do this okay if you guys i mean i'm sure you guys know all right so common sense you have that fold it down you can't see the rear so with this system right here you can so i'm going to open the, the car and this thing turns on you could um switch views and here i am this is in cabin i think this is the perfect in cabin camera because um when we're driving this is kind of useless to for you to uh, monitor your kids this is the most optimal right here because the girls are sitting in the back and basically you can see what they're doing if they're sleeping good if they're you know like how their head positioning is and whatnot or if they're crying or you can talk to them and that's nice right and this is the camera that points backwards and you also have like multi views this is i think this is the front you have a three channel view right so i like it i definitely like it um and then from here you can shut it off whenever and how this system works well let me turn off the car let's move over here and here is the power cell 8 power cell 8 is basically an external battery pack then you see it you hear it turning off it charges um, when the vehicle is in motion and it takes about I forget how long it takes but it charges and gives you parking mode so when I turn my car off I go ahead and enable parking mode or I can enable like full recording mode so let's say it's like a short trip but you want like full recording mode you go ahead and just record it and it won't leach off of your 12 volt in the car itself so you know the Siennas they have a really bad um, like a really bad problem with just running out of batteries especially with the 12 volts 12 volt battery located right here in the back so in order to minimize being stranded anywhere or whatnot causing any type of inconvenience I went ahead and just hardwired using the battery pack and hardwiring the battery um, charges the battery so it never runs out of juice when you're driving so overall I think this whole setup is more sophisticated and more advanced than my previous Golf R. Um, software wise I went ahead and disabled the seatbelt chime when you're driving uh, using the Carista, Carista app all right so I that's the thing I did I uh, coded the windows to be remotely open using your remote control uh, your key fob as well um, and I think I think that's about it other features are like you can um, customize the turn signals and how you how how many turn signal how how many times the signals flashes while you do like a half press the volume and everything like that 
Um, so you could look into the Carissa app. I did a video on, on top of that as well. All right, so let's move on to baby gear. So baby gear right here, the sun is coming down, but we have Dionos, the Diono 3QXT. I spoke about this. We're a huge advocate of the Diono product. So everything we have is most likely Diono, right? We love the seats, 3QXT. We have like kind of an impact bar right here. Um, and a rebound bar that we don't have to use because the girls are finally forward facing. It's very nice. We don't need a seat uh, ottoman for this one because we have an ottoman right here for the girls in the future when they are, you know, when they they decide that they want to go ahead and just kick up, kick their feet up and relax, right? We have waterproof seat covers right here as well because they are potty trained, but just in case. Wow. Uh, just think about it. It's they grow up way too fast, right? But anyway, um, this one is waterproof so that if they were to go ahead and have an accident this portion soaks everything up and this one keeps the seat clean so you don't have to take all this out and clean it so very nice the girls don't like the really heavy memory foam um, um, cushions for the shoulder pads here we have an extra like a kind of like a, uh, something from diono very nice plush thinner they like that so they whenever we tighten they don't feel too cramped because they get really fussy we have double cup holders right here one for a drink one for snacks overall we really like this uh 3qxt seat it's uh safe engineering plus so it has like a double uh, padded yeah, side impact portion right here that's it's just we feel overall very very safe red on black right two 3QXT models. We have the Diono organizer right here. All right, and this is nice. Um, it does, again, I spoke about how it blocks off the Sienna plating right here, but uh, overall it has like a tablet. We don't use a tablet. We try not to use a tablet as much because we have the rear entertainment system. And let me tell you, uh, this rear entertainment system, it might be really simple. It might be just kind of like, it mirrors whatever you have uh, plugged in, but overall that you don't need any type of fancy Bluetooth mirror casting gimmicks or whatnot. Cause this one basically keeps us, keeps the girl at bay. I'm trying to show you guys. I wonder how this video, how long this video is going to be. So this is our solution right here. And wifey will just play something and then forward, fast forward, or, you know, control their screen time using that portion. And we also have kind of like, um, right here, I'm not sure if you can see it, but we have this right here. Wow. The, very nice. This camera is pretty dope. We have this from Amazon, basically clips onto the OEM buckles so that when mommy when she used to sit, sit in the back, uh, when she had to take care of the girls, when she unbuckled, it would chime. And we thought we could use Carissa to kind of knock that out, but we can't because the third row, you can't code anything off like that. You could code it off for this, the um, the passenger, the, um, the captain's chairs, and the front passenger and whatnot, but not for, um, for the third seat. All right. So... I think we're almost done. Hope you guys are still with me. All right, so let's talk about trunk accessories, emergency kits, housekeeping, maintenance, and whatnot. We have um, the Zoe stroller right here, which I am going to remove and place it here for now. Okay, one of the best strollers right here, very lightweight, less than, I think it's like 19 pounds such a good we had a bumble right back then it took forever to move and, and pack in so this one packs up just real well fits in the car fit fit in the golf bar so we really like this so if you guys are expecting uh two under three two under two twins and whatnot this is the stroller to go now let's talk about the rear we have the oem trifold kit tri uh, trifold cargo mat from factory amazing Right. It has like a two tier type of thing right here. It keeps the stroller from scuffing up the back, the third, the third row. And also you could kind of, you know, once this third row is down, you could use it as a cargo mat and whatnot. So overall, I think this is very nice. I think this is well worth it. The material is itself is kind of thin, but that's, uh, that's my initial impressions. But overall, it's all you need. All right. It's very durable. We have, um, again, we have no spare tire, but I think that was, that was for the best because I l we love this space right here. Just for your, your uh, miscellaneous stuff, uh, we, I transferred this AliExpress 
felt bag that I use in the Gulf R for all my detail supplies. And this is like your microfibers and all that. Uh, I transferred it right here. It fits just perfectly. This net itself from Amazon uh, with 3M tape keeps it at bay from falling. Okay, so in here we have our tire punch, uh, tire repair kit. We have our bottle jack right there. We have our jump starter USB battery pack. And we have our modern spare again, as we spoke about right there. We have a torque wrench to go ahead and help change the, um, the tire quicker without break, taking out the breaker bar. But the breaker bar is hidden somewhere within here as well. And right here, like I spoke about, this whole trifle mat, uh, trifle mat creates kind of like a, a second tier or like a little tiny ledge that is perfect for like my tripod on the go, uh, long umbrellas, short umbrellas and whatnot. So it's very dope. I like it. Right. And we have like a cargo uh, storage right here that's expandable whenever we go out and we need like just we don't want to make multiple trips in and out of the hotel. We could just bring this. It expands. We have a vacuum because we have a 12, uh, a 1500 watt inverter. So just plug this in, very strong, and it keeps the whole vehicle clean. Um, and again, just like your regular stuff like um, diapers and whatnot, right? So we have that in here. We have a little stool just in case. What we're missing is our potty, our portable potty that we just cleaned. And that's about it. All right, um, what do I have in here? This is the battery pack right here, All right? We have um, uh, a socket for the, uh, for, the, um, for, the, for the lug nuts, right? Or the lug bolts. And overall, I think that is it for the rear, right? The hatchback, I spoke about the, um, the Amazon motion sensing lights. We have this one right here. All right, one thing that we didn't install are the lights, but I'll get to it. Um, the lights right above here. So I, ha I purchased this LED light kit that you could replace this portion with, this little trim piece. But I decided not to go ahead and, um, and, and I don't, cause I don't have time. But my temporary solution right here is this. I kind of stuck it on as magnetized. So if you, it's the only downside is you have to charge it, but it lasts forever. Right, so you could, it's magnetized, it's, it's very sturdy, but basically at night, uh, this is how it looks. It shines, it's very, very bright, all right? So the battery, again, lasts forever. And uh, we have like these door jam protection, the bolt covers right here all along. I did videos about this as well to keep it nice and rust free, right? Um, so these are nice too. You have it like tiny ones here, here, and I think it also protects this part right here. So instead of the in, inner parts getting dirty, the white paint, this part gets dirty, right? So you, you can see it. I think we're finished with the tour. All right. So hopefully, oh, wait, I forgot about this. This is the flood lamp right here. So at night, this one has a Sienna logo. I'll probably put a B-roll. All right, guys, so that is it for our one year tour of the vehicle. What do you guys think? Is it a total change in terms of aesthetics exterior wise? Because I remember just bringing this car home and it was a stock car. It was a minivan, right? But overall, I think um, it's come a long way. And for this whole one year, um, maybe I'll do a one year review, right? Of long term ownership of the vehicle. But um, yeah, it's one year of uh, adventures. I think uh, hopefully many, more, many, many more to come. But again, this the, my wife loves the car, the girls love the car. And in turn, I love the car. It just yeah, makes me feel yummy. really good while I'm driving it. And yummy. just we feel really safe. It feels so like just so much space, stuck in traffic, rainy weather. We got a plane. Uh, oh, ventilation without rain coming in. We have automatic climate control. What more do you need from a vehicle? The girls are just very comfortable. <laughs>
that's it for today's video. Uh, for all the parents out there who uh, have more ideas on how to kind of tweak out their cars and whatnot, or give me ideas on how, uh, like the baby items or uh, uh, toddler items to go ahead and increase productivity or comfort for our, our adventures or our rides, let me know in the comments down below what do you guys think of my taste. It's too tacky. Or, oh, that's pretty interesting, you know, or, or whatnot. Uh, all comments are welcome down below. But in the meantime, thank you for watching another year. And for all of you guys who are uh, celebrating the Lunar New Year, um, wishing you all a happy and prosperous one, and most importantly, a healthy one. So on that note, uh, signing out. Take care.